We all know there are many people in the world struggling in poverty. Traditional humanitarian aid helps millions of people like this around the world, and it saves lives. But experience shows that years of continuous aid can also create a culture of dependence. Over time, their mindset can change, where receiving help becomes more natural than being self-sustained. They come to believe they are poor, helpless, and dependent. What we call a PhD in poverty. We at Hoga Microfinance want to turn this around. Hoga Microfinance works to release and empower people to take care of themselves rather than be dependent on constant aid. And we recognize that a very important part of this transformation is to create financial stability in families. With access to services like savings accounts, micro loans, and insurance, they'll have a good foundation to generate this stability. Take insurance, for instance. Without it, people run the risk of losing all their hard work and will most likely never regain the same momentum in getting themselves out of poverty. Nevertheless, we see a common feature in the poorest countries today: that there's a lack of financial institutions to provide such services. Even though it's something that has always played a big part in the growth of every wealthy nation to date, that's why Hoga Microfinance works to provide these services, because we believe this will give the poor a fighting chance to climb out of poverty on their own and be able to support themselves. But wait, won't a loan just make things worse for someone who has no money or income in the first place? Yes, it could. Money by itself is not enough. First, we need to change the mindset. We need to teach people with a PhD in poverty how to be productive and responsible, and develop good character, reliability, and trust through biblical values. In May 2014, we opened our first microfinance in Burundi, a small country in the heart of Africa and one of the absolute poorest countries in the world. Burundi is abundant in natural resources, but the same lack of knowledge and financial support prevents people from taking advantage of these resources. Hoga Microfinance collaborates with other organizations who specialize in education and training, with a focus on basic skills like health and hygiene, food security, and ultimately how to manage a business. All with the goal to teach the poor how to start their own businesses and generate income for their families. When the candidates have completed the training and are ready to start their business, they are qualified for a Hoga Microfinance loan. Now they have both the skills and the means to generate their own income. They are now empowered to be productive. In the long run, these businesses will grow and create workplaces and strengthen the economy. It will build the nation. A micro loan is just a small step in the ladder out of poverty. This is also how Norway climbed out of poverty 200 years ago. Driven by the same compassion Jesus had for the poor and needy, a man by the name of Hans Nielsen Hoge. Inspired the people of Norway to take responsibility for their own situation. Hard work, courage, and unity were all instrumental in this transformation. And our vision is to see Burundi and other nations like Burundi be transformed in the same way. Join us in releasing and empowering the productive poor in the climb out of poverty. Learn more about our model and why it works at hogamicro.no.